one of the most common nicknames for Spartanburg is Hub City. And the reason why we got that nickname is Spartanburg was the place at which many railroads across the South intersected. Spartanburg County has the highest rates of food insecurity in all of South Carolina, so it really is a pressing issue. I knew I wanted to do something impactful and that would not just be a project that I thought was important, but that would be really addressing an issue that was already there. Being a food desert here, it means that a lot of the residents are in a low income bracket. It means that they have limited transportation, so most of them are reliant upon either walking or buses. And then also that means that there's no grocery store immediately within the neighborhood. The area that I've really engaged with has been the urban farm. As kind of an environmental science nerd, seeing the sustainable practices that they put in place, how they've been able to intensively cultivate in an ecologically friendly way is super cool. The project that I've been working with Izzy on is our seed to table program. So it's an education program geared towards local schools in particular, um, but we also open up to after school and also Girl Scouts and, and different groups. Seeing the smiles on the girls' faces and seeing, especially with some of them, kind of understanding those scientific and ecological concepts more, I mean, in the end, that's the goal. We want to reach as many people as we can, but just seeing a couple girls impacted by it really made me happy. I think especially in South Carolina, you kind of get all different kinds of perspectives, whether that be social or political or cultural. And I think that that's been very important for me growing up. And it's something that I'm kind of looking forward to continuing experiencing as I move on to Harvard.